Rick Becker. Right. The um, Biden's uh, Biden's crazy executive grab with that with that action uh, really shows how far the executive branch will reach for votes. I wholeheartedly disagree with Katrina's assertion that this is a good idea. This is patently unfair to people who worked through college so they didn't have loans, for people who just paid off their loans, for a next generation that's going to be going to college but it won't be free, for people who haven't gone to college, have gone to voc vocational school, have a job in the trades, how incredibly unfair. We are burdening all of those people with the responsibility to pay the debt of those that are getting the free money. Moreover, what we're looking at here with this overreach in the executive branch, if you consider just how the bloated administrative state, which is under the executive branch, Congress has abrogated its responsibility. It allows these bloated administrative agencies to act as a fiat Congress. It, it, they, they've, they've, they're spineless and they don't hold people accountable. Take as an example, Anthony Fauci. There is one senator in the Senate, Rand Paul, who is holding him accountable. Where is John Hoven? Why does North Dakota not have a senator who is going to stand tall, stand proud, have a spine, and have the stones to take down these unelected bureaucrats that just snub Congress and have no regard for the American people? That's why we need a fighter. That's why we'll keep saying that until the end of this debate. We need a fighter in Washington, D.C., and it is neither Katrina nor John.